Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Sada Falam. I review medical lectures, so I compare them so that you can find the right lecture as per your need without wasting time. So today I reviewed uh, lectures on breast. There's a lot of material available online and a lot of good material. So all your needs are going to be met online with the topic of breast. So if you want uh, to study anatomy, physiology, pathology, surgery, everything under one roof, the three good lectures are Surgical Educator by Dr. S. Selvaraj. I think he's done a good job. And uh, in Hindi, if you prefer your lectures, Dr. Rajiv Ranjan Gupta. Again, he's done a good job. And the third one is in Arabic by Dr. Rasha Kamal, uh, Mamdu Mahfuz. Uh, I think these three are good lectures. Okay, these three lectures are very good, but they excel in certain areas and slightly deficient in certain areas. So I'm suggesting uh, where certain topics like anatomy, physiology are better dealt with. So for anatomy, there is Ray Sinti, he's done a good job. For uh, anatomy of uh, breast in terms of blood supply, I think uh, there was a Sri Balaji Hospital and Medical Education Center, uh, lecture three, breast anatomy three. He's done a good job on bl blood supply. Then there's the fourth lecture, which is only labeled as uh, breast anatomy. Uh, that talks about uh, venous drainage and lymphatics, but I suggest you do lymphatics from ANAT SC2009 Musculoskeletal Anatomy 2. He's, they have done a good job. Of course, these are slightly uh, longer uh, videos giving you a complete good concept. If you have time, you should do this, then you won't forget it forever. And if you want to really quickly finish anatomy and physiology and uh, breastfeeding, osmosis is good. It talks about uh, anatomy physiology and breastfeeding in one video of 10 minutes, which is labeled as breastfeeding. If you have an exam tomorrow and you want to quickly do it, it's a good idea. Undergraduate students, if you're preparing for AIMS and NEET, please do Ranked Junction and Dr. Pritesh Singh. If you're studying for USMLE, Dr. Paul Bolin is good. Now, I highly recommend everyone does this because it's not only important for your post-graduation exams to get into it, but you definitely need these concepts to completely understand this topic in terms of its applied science. So please do that. Only then will you remember the significance of reading breast. If you want to do histology, it's Washington Deceit. Medical school pathology it talks about both active and inactive breast and also histopathology of many other uh, benign and malignant tumors in case you're interested. That's all for my undergraduate students. Bye bye. Now, if you're doing post graduation in cytopathology, you might uh, enjoy a video of two hours, uh, Socknar 5, really nicely uh, discussed uh, cytopathology. If you want to do um, uh, Things like uh, immunohistochemistry of breast cancer. There is Sigma Aldrich. There's a video of one hour. You will enjoy that. And also, uh, you should know that there are more targeted uh, therapies now beyond ERPR and HER2. Of course, you have to read ERPR, HER2 as well if you're in post graduation in details. And if you're an undergraduate, you have to know two lines of each, ERPR, HER2, BRCA, BRCA2. There are a lot of videos on breast imaging techniques, mammography, a lot of them. And uh, especially I want to mention there is one uh, in Arabic by uh, Dr. Uh, Rasha Kamal. She has, I think, uh, imaging his her specialization, I'm not sure, but uh, she's done a very good job in uh, imaging. and. Uh, also, don't forget to watch my video on genetics and neoplasia, other things like uh, fish and other techniques uh, related to breast cancer. You might find Shomu's biology uh, useful. If you like my reviews and find it useful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to watch my other videos on genetics, neoplasm, thyroid, and many, many more. You might find them helpful. Bye-bye.